I'd like to share with you a simple way that you can measure the wavelength of various colors of light. All you need is a light source capable of emitting a single color of light, a meter stick, a diffraction grating, and a partner to work with. Today Richard is my partner. There are only two measurements you'll need to take. First, I will show you how to take these measurements, and then after we take the measurements, we'll analyze them to get the wavelength of light. One partner should stand at the light source, while the other should stand at a distance of at least three meters away. The partner that is standing away from the light should view the light through the diffraction grating. To do so in the video, I'll just place the diffraction grating over the camera lens like this. Normally, you just view the light through the diffraction grating with your eyes. The first measurement to take is the distance between the light source and the diffraction grating. In the experiment we're doing, there are 3.3 meters between the light you see and the diffraction grating when I hold it over the camera. Now we will measure the distance as viewed through the diffraction grating between the light source and its apparent nearest neighbor. Richard's going to help us out with this. Okay, now Richard is going to help me measure the distance between the light and its next nearest neighbor. Keep moving your hand. Right about there. That would be 43. So 43 centimeters between the center dot of light and its next nearest neighbor. And there are 3.3 meters between the camera lens and the light source. We'll now go ahead and use this equation to find the wavelength of light that we measured in the experiment. If you'd like to see a derivation for this equation, you can just skip ahead in the video. In this equation, y represents the wavelength of light that we're trying to find. 4,850 nanometers represents the distance between the slits in the diffraction grating. Y represents the distance between the light source and its next nearest neighbor. You might remember we measured that to be 43 centimeters. And L is the distance between the light source and the diffraction grating held over the camera lens. You might remember we, rem excuse me, we measured L to be 3.3 meters, which I'll write as 330 centimeters. We'll go ahead and substitute these values into our equation. Three hundred and thirty centimeters squared is one hundred eight thousand nine hundred centimeters squared. Forty three centimeters squared is one thousand eight hundred and forty nine centimeters squared. The sum of these two values is 110,749 centimeters squared. Now the square root of 110,749 centimeters squared is 339 centimeters. 43 centimeters divided by 333 centimeters is 0.129 and that multiplied by 4,850 nanometers gives us our value for the wavelength, which is 626 nanometers, which is consistent with red light. We're now going to get an independent check on the wavelength of the LED light we used in this experiment. To do this, we'll use this system here which collects light through a fiber optic and then displays the intensity of light at the various wavelengths. Let's point the fiber optic at the LED used in the experiment. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the peak of this wavelength. I'll go ahead and zoom in on the readout by the computer. You can see there, over there on the bottom right, that's 630.5 nanometers. That's very close to the 626 nanometers that we found using the simple method. 
We'll now derive this equation for you. Lambda is d times y over the square root of l squared plus y squared, where d is the distance between the slits and the diffraction grating, y is the distance between the light source and its next nearest neighbor, l is the distance between the light source and the diffraction grating, and lambda is the wavelength of light. Well, if light is shined through a diffraction grating, so here's a representation of uh, a beam of light being given off by some source. Here's our diffraction grating, and that diffraction grating is going to have slits in it, very tiny, much tinier than I'm drawing. And remember, those slits are represented by D, excuse me, the distance between the slits. When that light hits the diffraction grating, some of it's going to continue to travel straight through and hit some detector. Put our detector screen here. That would be inside the camera. And some of that light is going to get bent from its original course. This would represent light that goes directly from the source. This represents light that gets bent out of its central path. The angle between the light that travels straight and gets bent to make the next nearest neighbor, we're going to call that theta. The following relationship describes how the light is diffracted. The wavelength of light is going to be equal to the distance between the slits times the sine of our angle theta. Now we're going to extend this line backwards in the following way, I guess out of the camera, back into space. where this distance here is going to represent the distance between the light source and its next nearest neighbor. You might remember we measured that as 43 centimeters and we called that distance y. This distance here would be the distance between the light source and the camera. We called that distance L and in our experiment that was 330 centimeters. You'll note that this triangle here is similar to this larger one that we just drew, and therefore this relationship is going to hold for this triangle as well. Note for this triangle that sine theta is going to be the opposite divided by the hypotenuse, which we'll call h. From the Pythagorean theorem, we know that h squared remember that's our hypotenuse, that's going to be equal to L squared plus Y squared. So therefore H is going to be equal to the square root of L squared plus Y squared. Now we'll take our original equation here, lambda equals D sine theta, and we'll plug in Y over H for sine theta. If we do that, we get lambda equals d times y over h, where we notice that h is the square root of l squared plus y squared. Now this equation looks exactly like the one that we were trying to show at the beginning, and since we know the distance between the slits in our diffraction grating to be 4,850 nanometers, we can write our equation as follows, which is what we used in the analysis of our data.